Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. In this video, I want to share with you a medication change that I'm making, or rather an addition of medication, uh, in that I'll be starting Wellbutrin or Bupropion early this year. In my last video talking about mental health, I touched on the fact that I was a little bit concerned about the winter months coming up, because last year during this time, around mid-October, I started to experience depression. Um, and since I made that video, things have only really been getting worse in terms of the feelings of depression that I've been experiencing. It's a little bit concerning for me because there hasn't really been any triggers or anything like that that would cause me to be feeling depressed. I mean, everything in my life is going well, work is going great, I'm seeing friends and family often. Um, like I said, there's just not a trigger for this to be happening, so I know that it is associated with my bipolar disorder. Again, especially when I compare it to this time last year, it's kind of right around the same time frame of when it occurred. So this morning, I did take my first dose of Wellbutrin or Bupropion, which is an antidepressant. Uh, I took 150 milligrams, and it's the extended release version, so I take this medication once daily. After about a month or so, I may increase the dose to 300 milligrams, but I'll kind of just have to wait and see how things go between now and about a month. Now with this medication change, I do have to alter some other medications as well. Um, so as you guys know from watching my other videos, there are different medications that I do take for bipolar disorder. Um, usually I would just take lithium, uh, 1,050 milligrams, as well as Zeldox, 40 milligrams twice daily, and I would use Zopiclone to sleep. Now lately, going through the summer months, because I was more concerned about experiencing a manic episode, so I was focused on preventing that, I was using still lithium, but rather than Zeldox, I was using Loxapine at nighttime to help me sleep. Um, Loxapine is also an antipsychotic like Zeldox, but it's more of a, personally, just the way I feel about it, it's more of a heavy antipsychotic in that it really causes a lot of drowsiness, so I'd use that to sleep and prevent mania all at the same time. So now that I've introduced Wellbutrin to my medication regimen, my current medications that I'll use for the winter months would be Lithium once daily, Zeldox twice daily, uh, Wellbutrin once daily, as well as Zel uh, Zopiclone, sorry, to help me sleep. Like I mentioned in my last video, my original plan was to start this on October 1st, but because things just seem to be getting worse in terms of the depressive thoughts that I'm experiencing, and like I mentioned, there's no trigger for this, I do think this is the right move to try to get on top of this as fast as possible and prevent myself from slowly kind of going on that downturn into a severe depressive episode. Now, I haven't been seeing my psychologist a lot lately in the summertime because things were going so well, but I do think that now that I'm starting a, an antidepressant, um, because I feel like I need it. I think it's also a good idea to schedule an appointment with my psychologist. Just, just so that she can keep, uh, keep tabs on me. Um, kind of the way I'm thinking, the conversations that we have. Every two weeks when I see her, she'll be able to kind of compare the way I'm acting to the previous session. And just kind of keep tabs on me, like I said. And just uh, make sure that things aren't snowballing uh, out of control. Now the other thing with adding Wellbutrin to my medication regimen. Is because this medication does have about a 3% chance of pushing me into mania, I have to be more cognizant of the way I'm feeling. I have to be more open with friends and family and really just keep track of the thoughts that I'm having because I could go from having depressed thoughts to thoughts pushed towards mania rather quickly if I'm not careful and I'm not really on top of it. So I mentioned this in my other videos. The biggest thing is just being open with friends and family like I just mentioned. So my wife and I, we go walking every night that's a good time for us to kind of talk about things, um, be open with her about the thoughts that I'm experiencing, and she can kind of keep tabs on me throughout the day, make sure I'm still acting like myself uh, and everything like that. I do think we have this under control. I mean, I've been experiencing, I've been sorry, living with bipolar disorder for quite some time now, about six years. So if anything comes up and there are any signs of mania coming through, I'll be able to pick those up rather quickly. Um, I'm really good at noticing the signs early. And then obviously we would make some medication changes again. I did mention in one of my other videos that I did get a call from a psychiatrist office. That I, so I finally have a psychiatrist to work through these times. Unfortunately, I didn't get my first meeting with them yet. So hopefully with these new revelations, hopefully something comes up with them soon and they can help me manage these medications. Unfortunately, I did, I did receive some bad news that my family doctor is actually leaving his practice and going into uh, hospital medicine. So I will be left without a family doctor, which is kind of unfortunate this time of year when I do have to make medication changes. Um, but I think, like I said, I think I have this under control. I think with myself, my wife, um, also my aunt and my sister are a big part of my kind of mental health team. 
Uh, I think we can kind of all work together to look after the way I'm feeling and make sure that things don't get out of control. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys in this quick video. Just that I made the call to start Wellbutrin or Bupropion, the antidepressant, early this year. Um, just because of the depressive thoughts that have seemingly been getting worse and worse. Ever since I made that last video a couple weeks ago about my concern about this time of year. Um, when I related to last year when the depressive thoughts started again. So I'll keep you guys updated, let you know if, if anything gets, gets worse. Or maybe in a month time I'll do an update just to let you know how things are going in general. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Obviously, I am having those negative thoughts, but I am feeling pretty good about the plan. And it feels good to have taken the first dose today just to know that I'm doing everything right and doing everything possible to try to prevent myself um, from going through depression. So that's it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or you want to help grow the channel, just remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, there's some links in the description you can check out as well. All right, that's it for today. Take care.